Hello, this is Bryce from SmiteWorks, and welcome back to the next of our Game Master Quick Start Guide series. In this video, we will be covering the Options panel and any useful information contained within. Because this topic is so big, we will be breaking this video down into two separate parts. The next part will be uploaded tomorrow. To begin, we're going to navigate to the Tools tab and find the Options button. If you hover over any button in Fantasy Grounds, it will give you a tooltip as to what that button does. All right, with options open, we're going to drag it up and open it all the way out just so that we can see a lot of it at once. And we're going to go through some very important options for game masters to understand. The first set of options are all per user options, which means that players will also have access to these options ones i want you to be aware of are color activate character which will allow you to change the color of any pointers or drawings you make on maps and anything like that we'll just set ours to green for now restore windows on start what it does is it will remember your windows and placement of said windows when you restart fantasy grounds Perfect for when you're getting prepared for a game. Please note that Fantasy Grounds will only remember windows that are currently open when you close Fantasy Grounds. If you close that window, Fantasy Grounds will not remember. Dice Manual Entry does what it sounds like. You will have to manually enter your dice rolls. Simply pick up a die, drop it in, and you can type in your dice results. This is good if you are playing with physical dice, especially if you're playing in person using Fantasy Grounds. For most cases, we will leave this off. Target Remove on Miss does what it sounds like. If you target an enemy and then make your attack and say you miss, it will remove that target from you. For GMs, Turn Auto Center Map will center the map onto the token whose current turn it is in combat. Let's close that down and move on to the next set of options. Game. All right. Chat, set GM voice to active CT means that the GM's voice will be auto set to whatever creature or NPC's turn it is in combat. Show all whispers to GM does what it sounds like. It shows all player to player whispers to the GM. I typically leave this off to allow players to plan stuff that I'm not accounting for, but the choice is up to you. Show GM roles is a very important option that is off by default. I recommend turning this on, otherwise your players, when you make any roles, will only see shadows of your dice and they will not get to know what those roles are. This does include saving throws in certain cases, which is why I leave this on. Same thing with show results to players. If you want to have hidden roles from your players, I highly recommend turning on Show Dice Tower. That will open up a little Dice Tower icon down here, which you can right click and move around the screen if you want to move its position. We'll set it there. And if we drag a die into it, it will roll it. And that option, as you can see with the little eyeball icon, will not be shown to the players, only to you, the GM. Show PCs will change this window up here, which shows you all characters in the party sheet, as well as all active players, whether or not they have a character selected or not. You can change this from all to active only, which will only show actual active users. This right here is an actual user connected to this game. Show characters to players is off by default. This will allow you to show players the other player characters in the party sheet. Show inventory to players allows players to see the inventory in the party sheet. Once again, I usually leave this on so that I can allow my players to determine what they want and if they want to trade things. Sound enable does just that. We will talk about sound in a future video, so leave this setting as it is. This will conclude part one of our quick start video on the options menu in Fantasy Grounds. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave a like. Also, if you want to stay up to date and make sure you don't miss part two, 
Hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to stay notified when these are posted. And remember, you can always find out more at fantasygrounds.com.